Hi there, I hope you're doing well. And today I'm here to talk about the importance of starting projects. Now, why is it important to start projects? Well, I'll tell you why. Um, there's a lot of things that go on in society where, or a lot of advertisements that basically tell us that we can't do these things, we can't produce, we can't continue, we can't achieve our dreams, basically. And it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy, really, because it, the more you listen to these sorts of people, these sorts of advertisements, the more we develop this the, this thought process in our minds where we almost build our own walls to stop us achieving certain things. Now, for instance, there are many people my age that would like to start their own YouTube channel, for instance. Um, and I've fallen into this trap a few times as well over the past couple of years where I felt like my content was not up to the standard of the top professional YouTubers. I thought I had to get myself all sorted with lighting and other things and it had to be perfect, you know, dressed in the right clothes or, um, you know, having everything perfect. But I've grown to realise that this idea of perfectionism is actually something that we create in our own minds and yes, it's important to have standards and it's important to have goals and ways of progressing. But if this perfectionist idea stops you from producing, then it can be a little bit of a trap in the sense of it's not allowing you to actually grow if you're, if you're not producing something. Like, for instance, a piece of artwork. How are you meant to improve on your techniques going forth? if you believe that what you're doing at the moment is not good enough, you know? And with any artist, any human being, it's important for us to develop and be creative. And throughout my experience with the creative arts and, and doing things that are more creative minded, I've grown to believe in the art of allowing for quote unquote mistakes or um, using a very strong terminology, failing, failing, you know, um, not achieving your goals and just trying again next time and not allowing these setbacks to actually stop you from progressing, you know, like we can fall into this mindset quite easily if we get keep getting rejected by um, society or even just your own opinion on your own work when actually if someone else looked at it they may see real good potential in you and it's just it's almost putting that perfectionism to one side and giving yourself the room for that growth and that time to just keep at your craft and to not just stop and start as it were start in three months then don't keep it persistently going and then start again and then you're stopping because you're stuck in this perfectionist idealism that we have been sort of inherited from our academic side of school and and that can be a little bit of a trap so I'd advise anyone who just wants to start on YouTube just to make a video like I'm doing and just get out there and do it and then over time you'll look back and you'll think oh yes I, I know where I was but at the same time I've developed from this but at the same time as well had I not done these videos I would not have developed the habits and the persistence to continue growing I'm just a normal well normal subjective but I'm just an ordinary person, you know? I haven't got any sort of special powers as such. 
apart from tenacity and persistence in my goals and to just keep going even if it gets tough and I know I know it can get tough sometimes believe me but it's just believing in yourself enough that even the setbacks in the present are challenging they don't hold you back from from making and projecting your idealistic future and what you want to happen so just start even if it, the writing isn't 100% even if you know that essay isn't quite what you were up to up to scratch just submit it just submit it and see and then you can improve from there don't let one or two tasks be <laughs> stop you from achieving the 200 that you could have continued doing if you just continued. And then even if it takes you so many years to get to a standard that you're happy with, at least you could then say um, that you tried or that you improved on your skills. Because it takes time to develop all of this stuff. And I think in society, we get stuck on how things have to be quick, has to be really fast. Fast food, for instance, deliveries. When actually, the great masters of their craft know that they just have to just put in the time. Don't get yourself stuck in researching how to do things and then actually not spending any time doing it yourself because that can be an easy trap because you're thinking to yourself oh yeah I'm developing and I'm you know learning things which you may be doing but don't use that as an excuse if you reflect it, you might see it's a sl subtle excuse to not actually produce now and just go for it. Just go for it. Today is a lovely day. But there's been a few a few days this, over the past few years that have not been so lovely. But whether you're watching it live today or next month, next year, 10 years, make today count, spend your day, at least a portion of it, I get some of you may have commitments, but a portion of it on your goals and why you want to go after these goals, reflect on why you want to go after these goals and go ahead and take that first step to achieve it. As the saying goes, Rome wasn't built in a day, you know? So start building your empire, start building your legacy, and we'll go from there, guys. All right? Take it easy. All right? Have a lovely rest of your day. Get yourself a nice drink. Nothing too... <laughs> Nothing too strong. But relax. Have a good day. Reflect on your goals. And I'll see you in the next video.